Welcome everyone, today I am going to discuss some React Native basic interview questions in this video. This will help the beginner level person who are all start learning the React Native framework. Don't skip the video that will help you to get more information about the concepts. Our first question is. Explain React Native. The answer will be. React Native is a mobile app development platform that allow you to create Android and iOS apps using JavaScript. React Native uses the same fundamental UI building blocks as regular iOS and Android apps so applications created using React Native are not able to be identified the different from an app built using Objective-C or Java. React Native combines the best parts of native development with React a best-in-class JavaScript library for building user interfaces. React primitives render to native platform UI, meaning your app uses the same native platform APIs other apps do. Create platform-specific versions of components so a single code base can share code across platforms. With React Native, one team can maintain two platforms and share a common technology. Next question is, can we combine native iOS or Android code in React Native? The answer will be, yes, we can. React Native smoothly combines the components written in Objective-C, Java, or Swift. Integrating React Native into an existing application is a great way to increase the speed of development, make more complex apps and implement the same feature for both iOS and Android simultaneously. If you're creating your app from scratch, React Native is the way to go, but it also works great for adding user flows, screens, views, and features to an existing native app. Next question is, who uses React Native? The answer will be, Thousands of apps are created using React Native. Here is the list of some popular companies who are using React Native. Facebook Facebook Ads Manager Instagram F8 Uber Skype Walmart You know more from the given link. Next question is List step to create and start a React Native app the answer will be run the following command in terminal to create and start a react native app step 1 npm install g react native cli this command will install the react native command line interface globally through npm also please make sure node and watchman installed in your computer step 2 react native init awesome project this command will create a project named as also project. You can mention your project's name instead of also project in the command. Step 3. CD also project. Enter into the project directory which is create using react native init command. Step 4. React native run android. To run the project in android device which is connect and system. And React Native run iOS to run the project in iOS device which is connect and system. Next question is What does stylesheet.create do? The answer will be stylesheet.create method ensures that values are immutable. They are also only created once. Immutability is a concept that React programmers need to understand. An immutable value or object cannot be changed, so every update creates new value, leaving the old one untouched. Next question is. For what XHR module is used in React Native? The answer will be. XHR module is used for implementation of XML HTTP request to post data on the server. The XML HTTP request API is built into React Native. This means that you can use third-party libraries such as Frisbee or Axios that depend on it, 
or you can use the XML HTTP request API directly if you prefer. The security model for XML HTTP request is different than on web as there is no concept of cores in native apps. Next question is List some core components of React Native? The answer will be Text, Image, View, Text Input, List View, Scroll View are some core components of React Native. React Native provides a number of built-in components. You will find a full list of components and APIs on the React Native's official website. You are not limited to the components and APIs bundled with React Native. React Native is a community of thousands of developers. If you are looking for a library that does something specific, search the NPM registry for packages mentioning React Native. Next question is How Virtual DOM works in React Native? The answer will be React creates an in-memory data structure cache, computes the resulting differences, and then updates the browser's displayed DOM efficiently. This allows developers to write code as if the entire page is rendered on each change while the React libraries only render subcomponents that actually change. React Native creates a tree hierarchy to define the initial layout and creates a difference of that tree on each layout change to optimize the renderings. Except React Native manages the UI updates through couple of architecture layers that in the end translate how views should be rendered while trying to optimize the changes to a minimum in order to deliver the fastest rendering possible. Please like the video and share the video with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more technical videos. Press the bell icon to get immediate notification if any new videos published in our channel.